Hi, y'all. This is Dave coming from my rolling house. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about APUs, or if you don't know what that is, it's an auxiliary power unit. There's two kinds. There is a battery operated and a diesel operated. So we're going to explain a little bit about each and then the advantage or disadvantage over having them and to not. First, we're going to talk about the diesel powered ones. They'll save you fuel over idling. You don't have to idle. The diesel ones are a little bit more powerful. The diesel power will give you more space. It's a little bit noisy because of the diesel motor. A lot easier to get parts for. Diesel will run all night as long as it's maintained properly. Downside to them is the maintenance cost is a little bit higher over the battery operated. And California, you're required to have one if you want to keep cool because they have a no idle policy. The one thing on either style that you have to worry about is the weight because you are adding weight to the truck. So that takes away from your payload and stuff like that. Your battery operated are less maintenance. Your upfront cost is quite a bit less. To install one, the battery operated, you're looking about eight to 10 grand. Your diesel is a little bit more expensive to install. They can be switched from truck to truck. So if you don't go with one, first off, you or your employee will be miserable if it's extremely hot or cold. There is more wear and tear on your motor because you'll be running it and it uses more fuel. Battery operated will take up more space in your side box. If both are working properly and maintained properly, the battery operated will work better. Really, it boils down to personal preference, regardless if you're a newbie or not. It's which style you like. Hey guys, Ronan here. I wanted to personally thank you for watching this video. I am the son of a truck driver and working for a medium-sized carrier as an operations manager. Growing up, I heard a lot of complaints about the trucking industry, and now I see it on a daily basis. I wanted to create a channel in order to unite North American drivers, share my knowledge, educate drivers to become more successful, and hopefully one day to make a positive impact in our industry. Some concerns that I have in our industry revolve around safety. I want to discuss trucking companies that should not be on the roads. Our immigration policies need to be tightened up and mistreatments of truck drivers and driver compensation. When we unite, we can make a difference. These videos and this channel is not meant for recruiting purposes. As me and my team continue to produce high quality and interesting videos, I do need your support in order to make a difference in this North American market. Please subscribe to our channel. And if you're enjoying the video you're watching, give it a thumbs up. And now back to the video. If I was going out to buy a truck, because for the longest time I was looking at just going to buy my own truck, not leasing one from this company, I would be going out to the diesel. Because in the oil field, my prior industry, the diesel was a lot more reliable for our field work. And if we needed parts or whatever, I see a lot more highway trucks with electric. So I'm not saying they aren't reliable and all that. I just have more experience with the diesel. So if I was going out to build a truck or buy one, that's what I'd be looking for. Just because I have more experience with it. Not saying this style isn't as good. Your average APU will weigh about three to 500 pounds-ish. Most carriers will get you a permit for the weight exemption. The diesel ones are slightly heavier than the battery ones, but you know, it's what you're using the truck for, what your personal preference is. The electric ones are a lot quieter than the diesel. Generic, generic breakdown. If you have a diesel powered tri-pack APU, the coolant will circulate through your truck's coolant and everything which will generate and cool down the truck because it's using the truck coolant to run its own engine, which will produce the power to run the system to cool down the truck. Battery operated obviously uses electrical power. That's why if you're on a reset and you have the truck off for 24 to 36 hours, you're going to have to fire the truck up and idle it to recharge the batteries. Like I said, they're both maintained. They both run really well. Yes, the diesel, diesel powered ones use a gallon of diesel per hour where the electric obviously doesn't. If you're resetting for a day, in California, Arizona, Texas, something like that, you're going to have to start up and run the truck to recharge the APU batteries where the diesel powered you don't. So it's it's a toss up. It's going to boil down to if you're going to go after one personal preference. The electric will run all night. It's when you go into a day off, like a reset day, is when you're going to run into the issue with the electric because if the batteries are corroded or weak or whatever, your power outlets in the truck will suck the batteries on the APU down. So everything in the truck electrically affects that APU where a diesel one just has the diesel motor that runs itself. The only thing you're using is a little bit of diesel fuel. The difference is pretty easy because when you look at the back of the truck, there's a walk plate between your truck and your trailer. It's usually covered and under is about eight batteries. On the diesel powered one, there's a unit sitting between the fuel tank and the rear tires. That's the big difference because the diesel powered has the big unit all complete sitting on the side of your frame. Like I said, the battery powered is sitting in 
in your side box. That's how you can tell. Your average APU maintained properly, regardless of electric or diesel, you should get, and I'm saying you should, so I'm not definitively saying you will. You should get about seven to 10 years out of it before you have to rebuild it or major repairs. If you maintain a property and look after it. Now you could only get five years and so you can get more. If you maintain a property, look after it and everything, you should get probably seven to 10 years. There is half a dozen, a dozen different kinds. Carrier's always been a good name. Thermal, it's been a good name. If you're not buying a truck with one on it already or leasing a truck with one already, go out and research the one for best for what you're gonna do. If you're pulling decks, you want something that's gonna keep you colder for wait times than maybe a van because you're just sitting for an hour or two in the dock. Best thing to do is see which one's going to give you the longest cold time area, stuff like that. When it comes to, to the end of the day, it's all on personal preference. For the years that I've used them, I prefer the diesel because it gives me more space in the truck. Plus, I find it gets colder, but they've shown that the battery power, when it works properly, gets colder. I just prefer them because you know it's working. You don't have to have the batteries charged all day for it to work.